a man who was sent from God, whose name was John. He came to testify to the light, to prepare a people fit for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Days, the feast of or the solemnity of the Nativity of Saint John the Baptizer, the precursor of Jesus. The feast the Church celebrated both in the East and the West since the fourth century. We go to mind our sins. As we prepare to acknowledge our faith and so prepare ourselves to celebrate sacred mysteries, especially for the times and ways where we pay perhaps to announce Jesus to others. And so we say, I confess our life to God and to you, my brothers and sisters. That I have written sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have been able to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my consideration. Therefore, I ask the sincerity of ever virgin, all the angels and sinners, and the human words and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. He 
hear me, vocal strengths, listening, body strength peoples, the Lord called me from birth, from my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who for me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob be brought back to me, and Israel gathered to me, and I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. I praise you, for I am wonderful in me. all the people of Israel. 
And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, sons of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us, this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
It's a very, very important question. But there is a line in the Gospel of Matthew wherein Jesus says, John is the greatest born of women. That's in Matthew chapter 11, verse 10 in the Bible. And then our Lord Jesus continues, but the least among you is greater than John. What a great message that is to you and to me. Because I think we can say, I think it is safe to say that we are. In the 25, we are the least in the kingdom of God. And yet, that least in the, that the least in the kingdom of God, you and I, is greater than the greatest. Because 
What brings faith to the soul is like Marcus said, brings us back to from death to life. We have the source and the subject of the Christian life called the Eucharist, the Holy Sacrifice in the Mass, which brings us to communion, whom the other politics, whom monitors. When Jesus on body and blood so in the divinity, not just communion, holy communion. Meaning, you and I are infused in the way, in the ways, in the identity, in the characteristics, in the divine will.
continue to pray for our own pineapple crisis and our research for all over the world, priests, teachers, the people, anyone engaging in the ministry of the church, or each one's ongoing conversion into the holiness of God, as everyone is called to engage in the name of the Lord in the salvation of Jesus, in the proclamation of God's kingdom. For this we pray for you. We pray for peace in the world, for peace that comes from the world, for peace in everyone. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for those persecuted and consecrated to their convictions and values related to faith. We pray for those suffering, the sick, those who are dying, in whatever form of pains and sufferings, trials and difficulties. And again and again, all their sufferings will not be wasted, but become one in the redemptive sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for the faithful and martyrs. For all, especially those who nobody not pray for them, for their eternal rest, for them we pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray to God for the eternal rest of Marilyn Tobacco, for the eternal rest, for this we pray to the Lord. Lord. And we raise the blood of our intentions to this holy sacrifice of the mountains. We pray for those whom we promise to pray for. We pray for those whom others perhaps have been asking for our prayers. We pray that we will become men and women with prayer. We pray that we will build up our light in the Spirit, the Spirit of God. For this we pray to the Lord. All these to the Father we ask to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, by all creation, for forgiveness we have received. The bread of your food, the earth, the work of your hands, and you become for us the bread and bread. Blessed are you, Lord, for the bread Blessed are you, Lord, God of all. The wine we offer you to go to the vine and work with your hands and you become our spirit of our prayer. Thank <laughs> you. 
word to give you thanks for the holy fire. Almighty and eternal God of Christ, our Lord. In his precursor, Saint John the Baptist, <clears throat> we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for us, Saint for our among those four of women. His birth brought great rejoicing, even in the womb he left for joy. By the calling of human salvation, he had a lot of prophets pointed out the land of redemption, and to make holy the throne of the throwing waters. He baptized the very daughter of baptism, and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by seeing of his blood. And so in the power of heaven, we watch the voice of the other, and before the majesty, without any way of grace. In a similar way, when Sabbath was ended, he took the chance. In giving thanks, he said, Bless him, and gave the chance to his disciples, saying, Praise. Oh, you and pray in front, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of you and the eternal Father, which will be put out for you. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the faith of the Lord until the end. 
Therefore, our Lord must receive the great the memorial of the saving and passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to receive the coming, we hope we will thanksgiving is hoping and bitter and sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the liberation of your church, and recognizing the sacrifice of the victim of his death, you will be reconciled us to yourself. One that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, we become one body, one spirit in Christ.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those born in the Son of Amen. Communion and the Father. Through the tender mercy of our God, 
the dark from on high will visit us. Please be seated. Amen. Amen. 